YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now this video right here comes out of Hawaii by way of Honolulu. Yes, this is the first or the second, maybe the third video. Damn, I'm going to get it right one day. Maybe the third video I done did about Hawaii. We don't get too much news out of Hawaii other than volcano eruptions and damn, all kinds of crazy ass weather. But we got a different kind of story right here. When I first heard this story and seen it because I didn't want to watch it because, you know, I don't like seeing nothing get killed like that. I mean, that's just sad like that. But anyway, these people, these two workers, these teenagers, I guess, who, who look every bit of damn 30 years old in the face, decided the smart thing to do was not to make the hamburger, but to sit up here and get a baby rat and cook the rat on the damn grill. And you might ask yourself, why in the hell would somebody decide to do that? That is a crying shame right there within itself because when I was looking at the video, I was like, why are these people doing this type of stuff at a restaurant, frying a damn rat beside a damn hamburger patty and laughing about it? And you might ask yourself, why are these kids even employed? What kind of mental health uh, situation do they have going on? Because something had to be wrong with you to videotape this and put it on social media. But this is the age we live in now. We live in an age of what? Stupidity. Yes, a lot of people is stuck on bullshit, if you know what I mean. Yes, with the capital B and the capital S. Break that down if you want to. Now, I feel when people do stuff like this, that they should be arrested and charged with a felony because no way in hell do you want to go somewhere and eat and they done cooked the damn rat on the damn grill. And when I first heard the story, like I said, I thought it wasn't true because somebody said, man, check this out. I said, man, look at this mess right here. And then come to find, it's a pole damn rat up there already just dead and stuff, frying, sizzling this damn rat. That's a crying damn shame. You should have been in there making hamburgers and shit. Now, allegedly, they have already fired the employees, shut the uh, company, uh, not the company, shut the restaurant location down, and they have called pest control and the other people. They need to just call in the bumps while they just nuke that whole damn place and stuff because it's no tell. You might be living on a rat colony, but anytime that you have workers who sit up here and play with people's food and stuff, the utensils and all that, because it's all kind of cross-contamination. You know how many diseases rats carries. This is very nasty, and they should be charged, not only fired. I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I'm going to give my opinion. Surely, as we go. Burger restaurant forced to close. After video of an employee employees cooking rat on grill emerges, a burger restaurant has temporarily shut its doors after two staff workers posted a video showing them cooking what appears to be a rat on the damn grill. Just grilling the shit out of Tom and Jerry. Only thing they have was the cat on there, but they got the damn rat on there. Now, Hawaii-based chain Teddy's Bigger Burgers. Sound like somewhere where they'll grill a damn uh rat on the damn grill. Has closed its outlet in Honolulu and fired two workers after the footage emerged on Snapchat showing the pair laughing as they cooked the rolling. Somebody should have threw their ass on the grill <laughs> and started cooking their damn crazy ass and stuff. And at the same time, I like I tell you all, it ain't in it. I mean, shit, it should be public record by now. I worked at a burger place, hell, when I was young, when I was 18 years old, right? When I turned 18, matter of fact, at Burger King. And never in, in my wildest dream did we ever think about picking up something and putting it on a damn grill and thinking that shit's a joke. And we didn't even have all these damn social media and shit then. We didn't have all that cell phone cameras. We had regular cameras, but we had no social media. But this goes to show you, it's like social media has dumbed a lot of these kids down and they think every damn thing is a game. But I tell you what, if they start punishing these kids and start, uh, these teenagers, because they're not kids, if they start punishing these people, because if you're old enough to work, you're old enough to be on your own and you should be considered grown if you have a regular full-time job. So that's what I'm saying, trying to differentiate from the kids to a teenager, you know what I'm saying? Because no kids should be up in there working in no damn burger place anyway. But if you're old enough to work, you should be old enough to accept all responsibilities and consequences that come with that job, especially if you don't perform your service up to par. Nothing is funny about seeing a rat on a damn grill sizzling while these two bastards, yes, these two young bastards back there laughing their ass off. They ought to be up under a volcano jail right now. Now, Richard Stula, the president of the chain, said the company was appalled. They was flabbergasted that employees would conduct, would conduct, excuse me, themselves in this way and was looking at pursuing legal action. Shit, I'm looking at it from right here. And you, the president of the chain, I'm sure you all should have been did that as soon as, as soon as I first saw the video. If I was you, I would have been on the phone right then with Honolulu PD, HPD, if you know what I mean. Not Houston police, but Honolulu police. Police. Now, he says also, we are 
horrified. A former employee will create something like this trying to destroy our reputation without regard for our 20 plus years of quality in Olahu. He said in a statement to Hawaii News, like whatever the hell that's supposed to mean right there, I don't know uh, uh, what the hell he mean by the 20 plus years of quality in Olahu. I, I guess. Now, anyway, he says, we are horrified that a former teenage employee will conduct themselves in that way and make such a video of which we are investigating its authenticity. You can investigate this authenticity all day. It's real. That rap was up there sizzling. I bet it's had that pepper jack flavor to it and every damn thing. And you wouldn't even know no difference. They would have cut up a little chicken nugget spot. Some of y'all go, ooh, right now. Yep, I already know. You wouldn't know no damn difference. They would back there just chop that joke up like they do at Benny Hollis, serve that joke up and give you some duck sauce with it, give you some uh, some uh, some uh, barbecue sauce. Some of y'all would have totally shot that right. Like, give me some more of this right here. Give me some more of this. That, that's, that, that gonna be that new chicken nuggets y'all got. They'd be like, yep, we got plenty of that. Where that come from? Now, the State Department of Health will inspect the restaurant, which will undergo a complete sanitization. Also, the company said all of its utensils and equipment will be replaced. Shit, I doubt that very soon. You better put that shit in some damn bleach and some scalding hot water. It'll get rid of it. Y'all might be saying, oh, Trey, come on. Yes, it will. You know damn well. Y'all have found some shit on y'all stuff at home before, too. And y'all ain't went and bought no new stuff. I know you said, but we ain't at the restaurant. That ain't the point. The point is, you don't found some shit on your utensils, your plates and stuff. And I'm sure that you don't wash them plates and dishes off or whatever with some bleach. And you better use bleach. I hope you did. And guess what? You're eating out of it probably right now looking down at it going, we know. We will then send a corporate team to inspect and complete a thorough audit of the location before it's allowed to reopen. Stula said, you should send the damn hazmat unit. You, sh you should send every damn body over there to go inspect that joke. Even people that ain't got shit to do with it. The restaurant had passed its last state inspection in June. Guess what? The restaurant may be clean. You know, you're going to have rodent problems. But at the same time, if you go and potentially pick a rat up, because the rat ain't going to get on the hot-ass grill itself. I mean, let's just be for real. It ain't like the rat going to whoop over there and just lay down and say, cook me. No. It don't matter how clean it is. If you got dumbass workers in, in your facilities, in your in your establishment doing this type of stuff, it don't matter how, how good you keep it clean. The workers got to be clean, first of all. That's the problem. Now, Peter Osharo, the state's environmental health program manager, said in a statement, D-O-H, appreciates the remedial and proactive efforts undertaken by the restaurant owner to protect public health. Fox had reported. So the DOH Department of Health, I mean, they should have been on that shit right there. Let me know what you all think about this mess, because it's a damn shame that you know, that you have people out here who have a damn job and still will sit up here and do this type of mess and think that it's funny. Teach your kids better. Somebody got to teach the kids. Look, when you when your son will get their first job, your son or your daughter, tell them, don't do that shit you do at home. Don't go out here putting dirt on the damn stove, on the grill and stuff and give people dirty burgers when they order a cheeseburger. You feel me? Stop thinking things are game. But this is the age we live in, an age of pure goofiness. You feel me? And everybody won't put everything on damn social media. I don't see what the hell that's for right there. I mean, why not put some good shit on social media? Like, like you actually making somebody the best burger you can make. But what they do is sit up here and get a damn baby rat. That rat deserved to live just like your ass deserved to live. What if somebody take you and put your ass on a damn grill and shit and you only been about a month or two old? Just because it's a rat don't mean it shouldn't live. Let's just be honest. The rat here for a reason, just like your ass here for a reason. But anyway, I think what they need to do, number one, all bullshit aside, is arrest these people. Anybody that does, just like the person over here, I did a video last year about the woman that was uh making somebody a hot dog, and she decided the best thing to do was cock her leg up on one of her cooking uh tables and insert the weenie, yes, the weenie, no pun intended, in her for JJ and put it on a person dog, fix it up, and go serve it to the person and thank them, thank God that they have cameras. And I don't know if the person ate that dog, but I'm telling you, if that person ate that hot dog. That person probably was like, God damn, what, what kind of sour ass shit is this? Yesterday, the weenie was sweet. Today, it's sour. It smells like rotten chicken. Let me know what you all think about this video, because it's a damn shame. Hard as it is to get a job. Now, I don't know how hard it is to get a job in Hawaii, but at the same time, hard as it is to get a job, you think that people would take their jobs more serious. And also, if you work in any kind of field, you you involved in preparing food, you know, whether it's fast food, a restaurant, who cares? Anything that involves with people, you're interacting with people, you should take that seriously. You should be more 
professional about it, whether it's a little job like this or whether it's a job in a hospital. You're playing with people's lives because don't nobody want to get sick or eat a damn rat leg just because you wanted to play that day. Let me know what you think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And definitely share this video with your nasty ass family and friends who think everything's a damn joke until it happened to them. Like I said, it wouldn't be funny if a big rat would just bust through that damn door and threw both of their ass on that damn grill and started sauteing their ass up right beside the baby. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. I'm out.